So we um, made a smart cane for visually impaired people. Um, so we have proximity sensors, there are sonic sensors in the bottom here to detect objects in the front or the left and right um, that are the, the user's path. And we have a servo attached to um, some wheels at the bottom. So the wheels aren't powered, but the servo just controls the direction that the user is headed in. So if there is an object on the right, the proximity sensors will sense it and steer the user out of the, the path of the obstacle and back to the original path. We have a couple of different sensitivities, so we can start detecting objects at either three feet, two feet, or one feet. Sensitivity of the sensors is controlled through this uh, slider potentiometer on the side of it. So we have different modes for it. Um, when it's all the way back, um, it's a manual mode, which is kind of mostly used for testing. So we use the joystick to control uh, what direction the servo goes. Once it slides, um, the farther along it slides forward, the sensitivity changes, so it goes low, mid, high sensitivity. And then the last uh, ultrasonic sensor we have <coughs> is this one up here, the support sensor. And this guy is detecting objects about waist level or above. All contacts or obstacles that are seen, there's a signal sent through these wires to the headset device, where there's uh, vibration motors both on the right and left side, um, LEDs for testing, and speakers also that are um, audible enough for the user to hear, but not very loud for uh, a crowd to notice. <coughs> and that way the user is aware that there's an obstacle there and that they're going to be redirected around. Um, we have a nine volt um, in our chassis here, powering the Arduino and our sensors. And we also have a six volt rechargeable battery to power the servo. And in the headset we have a pick controlling the vibration, vib vibration motors uh, the speakers, LEDs, and we also have an LCD screen on the back, again for testing, just to ensure that we are receiving the proper signal. And based on whether the left or um, the right sensors are triggered, the, a high left or right will be displayed on the LCD in the back. Yeah, and if the torso or head height sensor is triggered, um, all, all buzzers and speakers go off at once. The construction of the cane itself is fairly inexpensive. We just used a PVC pipe and then everything else was 3D printed and modeled. Okay, so the vibration motors are kind of towards the front as well as the LEDs and the power button. Uh, you can see the LCD screen. Um, we have a few transistors here to amplify the vibration motors. We purposely didn't amplify the speakers because we wanted that to be a, a personal audio or audible sound, not for everyone around. Um, but we do have uh, high pass filters for the speakers. Um, again, 9 volt powering the pick.